Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Colleen C. to Serendipity. I'm Colleen, welcome in to my new viewers, and welcome back to my Serendipity subbies. Today is November 10th, 2022, and I would like to bring you this day in history. On November 10th, 1969, Sesame Street, a premiering TV show that would teach generations of young children the alphabet and how to count, makes its broadcast debut, <clears throat> excuse me, Sesame Street with its memorable theme song, Can You Tell Me How to Get, How to Get to Sesame Street, went on to become the most widely viewed children's program in the world. It has aired in more than 120 countries. The show was the brain child of Joan Gans Cooney, a former document, document, documentary producer for public television. Cooney's goal was to create programming for preschoolers that was both entertaining and educational. She also wanted to use TV as a way to help underprivileged three to five year olds prepare for kindergarten. Sesame Street was set in a fictional New York neighborhood and included ethnic diversity, diverse, ethnic diverse characters and pos, and positive social message. Let me start with that sentence again. Sesame Street was set in a fictional New York neighborhood and included ethnical diverse characters and positive social messages. Taking a cue from Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In a popular 1960s variety sh show, Sesame Street was built around short, often funny segments featuring puppets, animation, and live actors. This format was hugely successful, although over the years, some critics have blamed the show and its use of brief segments for shrinking children's attention spans. From the show's inception, one of the most loved aspects has been a family of puppets known as Muppets. Joan Gantz Cooney hired puppeteer Jim Henson, 1936 to 1990, to create a cast of characters that became Sesame Street institution, including Bert Ernie, Cookie Monster, Oscar the Grouch, Grover, and Big Bird. The subjects tackled by Sesame Street was have evolved with the times. In 2002, the South, South African version of the program, T-A-K-A-L-A-I-N, Sesame, introduced a five-year-old puppet character named Cammy. K-A-M-I, who is HIV positive in order to help children living with the stigma of the disease that has reached epic proportions. In 2006, a new Muppet, Abby Cad Cad Abby Cadabby, Abby Cadabby, sorry, made her debut with and was pos positioned as the show's first female star character in an effort to encourage diversity and provide a strong role model for girls. In May 2019, a Muppet character whose mother is battling addiction was introduced, acquainting kids with the opioids crisis. Since the inception, over 80 million Americans have watched Sesame Street, me included. I want to thank you for watching today, and I want you to stay safe and stay blessed, and remember to smile, because I love you, but more importantly, God loves you. And remember, I go live every Saturday night at 5 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Eastern. And I also like to include today some happy mail I received 
uh, my first Christmas card. It's never too early to get those cards out. And um, I uh, commend this person. It says, peace on earth. As a couple moose and a pretty uh, mountain back scene back in the backdrop there. And it says, thank you for being my yarny friend. I love your journals that you make. May you find peace, love, and the true spirit of the holiday season. Crystal Gibson, Crystal's Crochet Cubby Hole. Thank you, Crystal. God bless you and your family. And um, I will see everybody in my next video. Bye now.